In this video, we're going to take a look at how at MathTA, we've created the fastest, easiest, and most efficient way for students to learn their multiplication tables. So right off the bat, from 1 times 1 to 12 times 12, that's a total of 144 multiplication tables. That's a whole lot of things to remember. However, we created a method where if you just know six rules, just six rules, you can go from 144 down to only 24 remaining. That's right, from just six rules, we go from 144 math facts down to 24. How is that possible? Well, let's take a look. So we begin with the easiest multiplication rule to remember, which is multiplying anything times the number one. Anything times the number one is that number. One times one is one, two times one is two, three times one is three, etc. Well, you also know the reverse. You also know one times two, one times three, one times four. So from that one simple rule, you actually know 23 math facts. Next rule is multiplying times 10. When it comes to the rule of multiplying times 10, zero is the hero. You take the number you start with and you add a zero. Two times 10 is a two with an added zero. Three times 10 is three, with an added zero, etc. You also know the reverse. You also know 10 times two, 10 times three, 10 times four. So now from those two simple rules, you now have learned 44 multiplication tables. And now you have 100 remaining. Here's the third easiest rule. Multiplying times 11 times a single digit, that digit just duplicates itself. What does that mean? It means two times 11 is 22. Three times 11 is 33. Four times 11 is 44. Five times 11, etc. You also know the reverse. 11 times two, 11 times three, 11 times four. So from these three simple rules, just three simple rules, you've actually learned 60 multiplication tables and you only have 84 remaining. From three rules, and these are the easiest rules. Next one is multiplying anything times the number two. There are two things you can do there. First thing you can do is you can double the number because two times two is the same thing as two plus two. Three times two is the same thing as three plus three, four, et cetera. Well, if you forget some of your basic addition, there is a backup method. That's the skip counting method. So if you take nine times two or two times nine, what you do is you skip count by the number two nine times. So you go two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, and then you stop at 18 because that's the ninth term. Very easy, right? Well, guess what? From those four rules, just four rules, you now know 77 math facts and you only have 67 remaining. It gets better. So for rule five, we're gonna look at the number five. And once again, we're gonna use skip counting because five is one of the easiest numbers to skip count by. So when you have seven times five, that just means you're counting by five, seven times. So seven times five just means you go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and on the seventh one, you stop at 35. Pretty simple, right? Well, now that you know 1 times 5 all the way to 12 times 5, that means you also know 5 times 1 all the way to 5 times 12. So in total, you now know 92 multiplication facts from just five rules, and there's only 52 remaining. So now for our last rule, which is the rule of nine. When you multiply a number times nine, such as two, you take that first number two, and you take one less than that number two. So one less than two is one. Then you say one plus what number equals nine? Well, one plus eight equals nine. So eight becomes your second number. So the answer is, 18 or when you have three times nine one less than three is two then you say two plus what number equals nine seven so 27 so forth and so on four times nine 
One less than four is three. Three plus what number is nine? Six, so your answer is 36. And you can do that all the way up to nine times nine to get 81. So now that you know the answer to two times nine to nine times nine, you also know the reverse. You know nine times two to nine times eight. So after just learning six rules, you now know 103 multiplication facts. That only leaves 41 remaining. And of those remaining 41, once we remove the duplicates of multiplying by 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, and 12, we only have 24 facts remaining. And you can learn those remaining 24 in record time in addition to the six rules with daily practice, just 10 to 15 minutes a day using any computer, any tablet, or phone. So what are you waiting for? Get started now.